Welcome everyone. This is the uh, Finance Committee meeting starting at uh, 6 p.m. on 11th August. Uh, call to order. We've got, uh, let me start with prayer. Lord Heavenly Father, we, uh, we thank you so much. All that you do for us, we thank you that uh, you allow us to serve. Lord, we thank you for uh, the ability to uh, represent our districts and our parish. And uh, Lord, may we May we uh, just lead and uh, be open-minded and uh, be willing to not only make decisions but also to listen and to learn, uh, just, to, just to, to do your will. We do it all because uh, you allow us to do it. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right. Can I get a motion to approve the agenda? I move. So move. Is there a second? I second. Man, I got a second. Um, just want to clarify all my uh, vote. Yep. Uh, all those in favor? Aye. 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 All those opposed? All in favor. Uh, before I start, just going to introduce the committee, committees because this is our first time to meet. We've got Miss Teresa down here waving her hand, Mr. Matt Pullen, Mr. Skip Russell, and Miss Mayfield down in the end. So uh, this is a this meeting is a very uh, informative meeting and I told I only had five minutes to talk and I don't know if I can do it. So um, I'm going to stand up and I got Mr. Chris Hyde. We've been working together on the, these numbers and we have to understand what, we, what we're going to discuss and what we're going to vote on next month because if we don't know what we're voting for, if we don't, we don't understand millage and uh, rolling forward, all those terms, then we have no idea what we're voting on. So let me give you a little background on, on millages. Uh, and I didn't know this, this is all, this is all new to me, and it's probably gonna be some of y'all new, especially to the public. But uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna talk about the, the millages of the general fund, we're gonna talk about the two road funds, and we're gonna talk about the two library funds. The first one is the general fund, uh, and it, it's always been under assumption that our general fund is, has we have two different millages for our general fund. It is 2% inside the city limits, 4% outside the city limits. Is that most everybody's understanding of the general fund? Well, come to find out, that's not really how it works. So when, you, when you're thinking we're collecting the amount of money for our general fund, it's, it's not based on those numbers, nor is it based on 4.99 on the road funds, or on the library funds. It, it's all based because of, uh, Chris explained it to me yesterday, and it's like a big seesaw with the budget in the middle, and as property values go up, millages go down. As property values go down, millage goes back up to the maximum amount. So, but once, once the millage is decreased, as we do assessments, or billing. As billing, that, that his office does an assessment. That millage or that, that assessment, if it's higher, our millage goes down. If we don't take action to roll that millage forward, which means lock it, lock it in for next year, then that millage will be lower if we, if we take no action. Did that make any sense? This is a very complicated process and we're learning every second. Um, let me give you an example of what the difference is. Two and four percent millage on the general fund is, is at the current millage, the difference is about $250,000. Now, you think, well, how do, how do we get to that point? To be honest, I don't know. I mean, it, it's, we basically, I guess nobody, we've never rolled it up. I don't know the history of the, the jury and whether we, but I do know when we had a million dollars in the, in the, the, as a severance tax coming in, there was really no reason to roll a million forward. So that million dollars covered all of the short, the deficit and all the, and it, it went out to the general other, other funds throughout the 10 years that I know that we've received the bill of the, the severance tax. So, uh, Let's talk about the, the, uh, the, 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 the road construction. The road constructions, um, the, the current millage, 
Supposed to be 499, now it's 4.39. If we don't roll it forward, that's what we that's what we got. I'm not telling you we're gonna roll it forward. I'm telling you, you gotta know when you vote, you gotta know what you're voting on. And you gotta know how we got here and how we how and we the problem is too, once you don't vote or you don't do anything, it's locked in and you can never go back. So we can never go back to two and four. We can never go back to a 4.99 like ever, according to the law. I mean, it's just actually, once you miss that opportunity to roll it forward, you lose that amount. So the difference was, like I told you, $240,000 in a general, let's just, I'm just gonna talk about general fund right now. So we, over the years, we have lost 200, 74 is exactly two hundred seventy-four thousand dollars. We have we have forfeited by not rolling our villages forward and keeping them at two and four, which is what the state basically said. Told us what that, that's that's by the state two and four. Uh, same thing with the with the road fund. Road funds four four nine nine aboted, and now it's at four point four one or four point three nine. 4.39. So, uh, our deficit this year in the general fund, as we stand right now, our deficit is about $125,000. At the end of the year, it's going to be close to about $155,000. Now, that's just that's just good that's just good information. Um, last year, the jury made a decision to, which in, which in my opinion is, is very creative. Uh, they decided to take the pay out of uh, the, the staff. They did to, to line more up with, basically with corporate America. That is called uh, billing, billing hours. The basically, correct? Cost allocation. Billable, yeah, billable hours. I call it billable hours. So basically, Mr. Pastel works for an hour. He, he charges whoever he worked for for an hour. But not only what, what it did is it took that money that we were that we didn't have in the general fund, and now it's paid for out of these other funds. So those funds are roughly two hundred fifty thousand dollars. So basically, right now we're taking from the from the uh, administrative staff for the work that's being presented to, or the work that they're doing on a, on a daily basis equals about $250,000 a year. So, I've asked Mr. Fossell to uh, reevaluate those percentages so he we can look and make sure that those percentages are correct and we can reevaluate. Uh, but the first thing we gotta do is talk, of the, is we're gonna get into the, the middle. And I'm gonna let Chris speak now. That was my spiel. Uh, there's a whole lot to learn on millages, and most of this stuff I did not know. And so uh, I hope you knew, and if you didn't know, that's a, it, it's, it's, very, it's very educational. So uh, I know most of the public don't know. So, Mr. Chris, yes, sir. I'm gonna introduce him. He is gonna talk about um, exact, he'll put it in his terms versus my layman terms. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure you want me to do that, but I'll, uh... I'll do it anyway. Uh, so starting, just going down the list, line by line, um, the, on the general alimony, the rate was 3.37. The uh, new assessment reduces that adjusted maximum millage to 3.35. And Mr. Franks was saying that brings roughly the same number of dollars in the door uh, as the new assessed value. Um, and the reason that there are Two of each of these items on here um, for discussion. Number one. Excuse me. Yes, ma'am. Could you stand up so you can project your? Uh, yes, ma'am. I'll be glad to. Is that better? Thank you. So there are two of each of these on the agenda because we have to uh, we have to adopt a millage for each of them, and then the second item for each is going to be the discussion or action item if necessary uh, in rolling them forward or back up to the previous authorized maximum amount. So the general alimony was reduced from 3.37 to 3.35. The uh, 
the road construction and road maintenance were both reduced from 4.41 to 4.39. And then the libraries, uh, a little bit different animal. It's a assessment is passed by the voters, and so we can change. We have a little more wiggle room with it. Um, and we can, Mr. Franks, I guess, can uh, lead this discussion further regarding what, what we're going to do with the library fund. But that's kind of a rundown uh, on the, uh, the first three items. And uh, I think the, the, the total difference between the adjusted maximum millages and the maximum authorized levy if we chose to roll them forward you know, from the prior years is for about $25,000. But the two hundred and fifty thousand dollar difference is the effect of not rolling it forward. Right. Uh, yeah. a negligible amount every reassessment. Every that's right. So you everybody understands how the millage goes down? Uh, you you want to okay. So basically the tax assessor's office appraised my house this year for hundred thousand. I was paying a certain millage on, on that hundred thousand. Now he appraises it at two out of hundred fifty thousand. The my millage, I'm only going to pay the same amount every year. My my tax my tax rate goes down. That's why the millage goes up and down to keep people paying the same amount. People pay the same amount. So you bought a house twenty years ago and you paid a hundred, and now that house is worth three hundred. You pay in taxes, property taxes, on the police jury side, not all the other taxes. The police jury side, you're still paying on a $100,000 house. Does that make sense? Because the millage went down. And, and we, I, I don't know, Ms. Beckham, Mr. Henderson can say if we ever rolled, it did roll it forward at any point. But if we never rolled it forward, because we're, we're down 250,000, I can all that. Safe to say, they probably never rolled it up or forward like we discussed it now. So therefore, go ahead. Question. In the past, haven't we rolled taxes forward? Mm -hmm. Yes. We, we have done that. You have? More than once. Many times. Many? Yeah. Most often. Yeah. Every, uh, during the assessment years. Yeah. Every, every four years, you need to decide whether you want to go to the adjusted max. Right. You don't have to go to 4.99. You can go to oh, okay. 4.75 okay. or whatever. Right. But you got you got to think about it. It's all about budget because nobody. If we could tell the future, we would be we wouldn't be working here. Mm -hmm. For what it's worth, I was told that the millage was rolled down and not back forward at a time that none of any of us were here. So I'm going along with that. What's correct? When, back when Pam Jones was assessor, it was like 5.5, our, our, our village, it's assessor's office. Now it's 1.75. Because we've had growth every year, so more and more people, property values are going up. It keeps it gets the same amount of money coming in. So right. you roll your millage. It's all about keeping the same amount of money. You get you get more money in. But without rolling it up, you you so we never really sit, we never really are the same. I mean, new neighborhoods, new roads, new staff, new trucks, it cost of living, everything else continues to go up. So you really never collect the same we collect the same amount of money, but every, if you collect the same amount of money, technically you're losing money. Absolutely. And we need to remember that. So, uh, okay. To do the, yes, sir. Oh, to do the same job this year that we did last year for the people of the parish, we cannot do it for the exact same dollar amount. Keep that in mind. It's open for discussion. Go ahead, Mr. I know it's in here somewhere. I just didn't see it. I'm a visual learner. It would have helped me if 
those numbers that you quoted were on paper. You came back and you gave an example, which was good with your house, 100,000 and whatever. I think an example like you gave, I don't know about anybody else, but it would help me so that I could tell somebody, let's use this example. Uh, good you, point. You, you understand what I'm saying? That's a good point. Because this is what people are going to ask me. How will it affect my taxes? Right. Well, this information is actually just gotten in the last day or two. So I, I'm with you, and some of it I just got in right. I mean, we're, we're crunching numbers because it's new information and new. So we will have that for you for the next week because this is a discussion meeting, basically. We're going to discuss, we are discussing and educating the jurors and the public on what does all this mean. Yes, so, ma'am. And Ms. White, I, I follow on sword. I kind of dropped the ball on that. I very deliberately did not include any information with the agenda because uh, I didn't want to create the perception that we were taking action on anything. I wanted to remain clear that this was a discussion and nothing more than a discussion. Uh, but I do have that information and I'll be glad to get it to you first thing in the morning. What I would like to have, Chris, is just a working example. Something simple. Use my house as an example. $35,000. What happens if you Yes, ma'am. You I, understand what I, I'm saying? I'll be, I'll be glad to do that for you. Uh, on this general outline, uh, uh, the total impact to all the residents of the parish, would be, if we chose to roll this forward, would be $25,000. $25,000. $25,000. Parish-wide. Across, the, across, across the, parish. the parish. That, that would be the, that would be the cost of rolling it forward. <coughs> Again, that sounds, that sounds like a good number. That's and pretty And it sounds like a very low number. Yeah. So we we going to say we that. Well, I'm assuming it's a low number, really, is because our assessment wasn't as big or as in years past. I mean, is that a I'm fair sorry. statement? I'm sorry. Our number is lower. I mean, we didn't have much fluctuation in the village because it wasn't a very big growth. It wasn't a lot of growth in our assessment year. <laughs> you over, you got to think over the past four years. You know, we had a tornado. Of course, we had COVID this year. So could the census count that we are, will it affect this in no. any way? No, that's no federal growth dollars. Rate. It, it's not expected to that's show. That's federal dollars. It's just nearly the property value. Yeah, so basically, you know, a house four years ago was worth 300. Today it's worth 305. That's an example. It, the the, the million just barely went up, so therefore it's only $25,000 across the whole parish. You're not talking about a lot of money? And you're talking about in the general fund? It, that's just, no, no, that's been all the funds. That's all the funds. That's all the funds. That's the general fund, that's the road fund, that's the library fund, that's all so those. Money. So what are we talking about just for general fund, roughly? Was it 1900? I think we have For what? The point general, general fund. 0.3% across. 7500 or so? When is that? Yeah. yeah. $7,500 more than general fund. Okay. That's what we're talking about. I mean, I need you to use this word as a negligible amount for the, in relation to the entirety of the budget. Right. Yeah. But but this is this is just a, this is a cause and effect. I mean, with, right. if we if, not to say we need we do it. If this is for information. But if you, if, you, if you don't do it, you just keep going, and it, it amounts to so you're two hundred fifty thousand over. That's a cumulative number over so many years. Yes, yes, that's over many years. That's 250 over many years. Many years. Yes, many years. So, so the, the 2020 assessment, the last one was done in 2016. We've had, we had probably 15 old gas rigs in the parish in 2016. And we had, what, zero probably from January this year. So all those are taxed. You know, and all your old gas activities and all those other things are taxed. So it's not just your fixed uh, property, it's also your Okay, so we got a roll. We got 10, 10 minutes left. Take it. Okay, library. Let's talk about library. Uh, I, I'm going to give it to you in layman terms uh, again, and Chris is going to come back and tell it in real terms, in, in, the, in the legal terms. Our library tax 
Oh, sorry. We have a library operating fund, and we have a library. I'm gonna call it a bond bond or, or a uh, a building fund that that's passed that we pay that we pay off. It, it, we pay it off next year. But the problem is, is that we're the the the, the millage ends before we pay it off. So now we're five hundred thousand dollars short in the library build the bond fund. Say, hope okay, everybody can understand this. The, the millage stops, but the, the note keeps going for another little while. So we're, we're over and we're under $500,000. Is that correct? Well, that's the total of what we had when we had left to pay. But, yep. Um, no, we need to collect. That's right. We need to collect $500,000. So, go ahead. Over what period of time? What have we been collecting on that tax annually? About $260,000. So we will make this run for a little more than two, about two years. We can't make it we run. We can't make it run. It, it is. is. So, so how do we come up with the money to pay I'll, that bond? Stand back up. See so <laughs> I'm, I'm, getting ready, I'm getting ready to give, give one way to do it, yeah. but it's one way. The bond sinking fund is deliberately underfunded in the first nine of 10 years or 19 of 20 years because anything you collect in excess of the principal and interest due has to be redistributed to the taxpayers. So the nightmare that we don't want to be staring down the barrel of is giving all this money back. Right? So this is the last year of the assessment, but the last payment is not due until April of 2021. And it's just time to increase the millage on that assessment because it's been collected at a reduced rate for the first nine of these 10 years. So how much do we have to increase it? By half a minute. That, that, and that's what, that's what I proposed, or that's what we talked about, and, and it wasn't my idea, because I was like clueless when he finally to tell me that. These two guys back here put their heads together, and, and, and this is just, an, this is just one, one thought. It's not the answer, it's one answer. The answer, is, this answer is, is to, Lower the library millage operating fund by 0.5, which lowers their, which means they're going to be, they're going to have to use their fund balance, which is roughly 300 million, somewhat three million, three million, three million. <laughs> roughly three million dollar fund balance they have. So they're going to have to use that bill, that fund balance, to make up their difference. So it lowers their fund balance, but in turn we're going to increase. The bond millage, I'm going to call it the bond millage, we're going to increase the bond millage by 0.5 to make up the $500,000. So in the end, it's no cost to the taxpayers, but, and it equals out, it, 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 it wraps up the bond, closes the bond, but it also allows the library to lo lower their fund balance to $3 million. So it's kind of a, it's kind of a win-win, depends who you're looking at. Have we discussed this? No, no because we just discussed no, this. No, no, no. It, we just talked about this today. That's why I say that all this stuff is happening. We need to have discussion. But so, you know, it's going to be a win-win for them. You know, they, not going to lot here, because you, you're, you're making them use. I, I, again, this same deal. This is not, I'm not, this is not the answer. This is just one answer. Okay. So, the open for discussion is, why are we going to come up with $500,000? to pay for this bond. Does that make sense? So that, that's, that's what we gotta figure out. And that's, what, that's why we, we make the hard decisions and that's why we gotta let So, I'm wrapping this up. I'll give you that number again, Frank. Uh, you lower the line. We're gonna lower, we would lower, it's 5.5. You lower, you lower the operating fund by 0.5 and you raise the bond fund by 0.5. And the, the money that's collected for the bond fund pays off the debt on the building. We close it. Next year, they raise the fund. Hopefully, their millage passes next year, and we can it all it all goes back like they want. And it doesn't affect the tax. Rate. And it doesn't affect the tax. Rate. That's so that's the that's the key point. Now, so we got to try to come up with another scenario if we want to talk about it. Is what are we? How are we going to pay this without affecting the taxpayer? 
Okay? Any questions? These are 2020 rates, correct? These are 2020. Yes. We would enact these for 2020. Yes. So this thing would be wrapped up this year. This year. And then be paid in April. Yes. It'll be collected. So that $500,000, is that today or is that uh, at the end of this year or is that number the same because we don't pay it to the 21? It's the end of, it's, it's what we would owe, that's what we still owe left on the, on the bonds. At the end of the year, not right now. You can't pay it off in 2020 without incurring a penalty. 2021, didn't he? 2021. Right. April 2021 is when the last principal April payment was made. April 2021. We're going to make those annual payments. Right. right. Is that right? Oh, uh, well. Yes. Okay. Uh, now that that clear up. I'm just trying to see. Is well, there, the is there to make those payments is generated in December of 2020, okay. based on these rates and the new rates. If I may, yeah. shoot. So, can you say that again? I can't hear what you're saying. Can't say nothing yet. <laughs> you or you? Are you talking about me or Chris? Either. I haven't said anything yet. <laughs> I didn't hurt you. I, I'm sorry. All I said is that the. The revenue to pay the make the 2021 payment would be part of the December 2020 assessment at these rates and the new assessed value. So there are certainly other options for coming up with this money. Now you can either raise the construction bond millage, okay, and leave the operating millage where it is, and the taxpayers will just have to put the bill. Or the jury can vote to put the take on that five hundred thousand dollars out of you know reserve. <laughs> the only one you can take it out of. The only place that we can take that money out of, probably from the jury's perspective, would be out of the general fund. The general fund. And I'll just tell you right now, considering our situation with service exactly. tax, that's probably not a good place to take it from. So we're we're pretty limited on options here. Um, I'll, I'll just remind you. And, 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 Ms. B and I have a very good relationship, and I'm a library supporter, but um, you know, I'll just remind you that one thing that the jury has been trying to do is get the library to pay down um, their reserve funds, and that's, that's for their own benefit. They still have a very healthy reserve fund. We're not gonna put them in any sort of jeopardy with their reserves. They'll still have a very healthy reserve that will give them a very good financial uh, situation. Yeah, you're only talking about two hundred fifty thousand dollars that they would end up paying out of there. So, okay, time's up. What, 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 what do we need? Uh, so we've discussed. I think we've discussed. Okay, but yeah. So, Krista, we need to discuss the number five now. Number five. Or we already covered all that. I think yeah, we, we did. Just whether or not um, you know we, we need to decide whether or not we're going to roll them back um, forward. Uh, that doesn't have to be decided tonight. We'll decide that next month. So in the meantime, I guess go home and lay awake at night, lying in bed, thinking about all this. And if you want to have conversations, uh, contact Chris and I. We've got set up times for you to come up and have discussions with us about it. If you need more information, we'd encourage you to do that. All right, Mr. Frank. All right. Um, number six, any other business? I'll do it. I have a motion to adjourn the meeting. I think I'm watching the